Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. As promised in my last video, I will be sharing today how I chose my art supplies uh, for my vacation in Greece, as well as what I actually packed and used during the trip. I started picking up my supplies by considering what would be the right color palette. I thought about colors that would be dominant during the summertime at the sea, so I focused on greens, teals and blues. I also wanted to take some colors that would be appropriate for sandy beaches. Apart from the right color palette, I was thinking of how I would be able to make art. I was traveling with a toddler and friends that also have a toddler, so I was sure I wouldn't be able to use paints and brushes while sitting on the beach or at the pool. For that purpose, brush pens, watercolor pencils and colored pencils are very convenient. I swatched all the colors I thought would work well and tried to reduce the amount of art supplies I would pack, because initially it was a lot. For mixed media landscapes I like to work with either gouache or brush pens for my first layers and at darker values and details with colored pencils and acrylic markers. I knew I wanted to bring gouache with me, because right now it's my favorite medium. But I wasn't entirely sure if I didn't miss watercolor. I tend to always regret not bringing at least a small set of specific uh, art supply. Once I didn't bring gouache, other time I didn't bring colored pencils but had gouache and was a little disappointed. I swatched my art supplies in color groups to avoid bringing multiple teal colored pencils and markers but forget to bring any essential color. Spoiler alert, I did end up forgetting some essential colors. I will talk about the supplies I took with me and use or not use in the second part of the video. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give this video a like as it will help show my content to more potentially interested viewers. So, what did I pack for this trip? I definitely wanted to take some Tombows, they have a lot of beautiful, bright and muted greens. Eco lines are a new favorite of mine, they are really juicy on the paper and re wet beautifully with a water brush and you can get the large area painted quickly which is nice and handy when you have only limited time to sketch on location. I took some of my favorites like a couple of Carandash Luminance pencils and Holbein color pencils I did swatch but didn't take Faber-Castell polychromos. These pencils are too hard and not creamy enough to show up well on top of paint without a lot of pressure. They tend to strain my hands and for me it's just not pleasant to use them. 
For this trip and future trips too, I got a few new things. A couple of brush pens I got specifically for travel and location sketches. Another thing that I got is the Stillman and Burn Gamma sketchbook with 150 GSM mixed media paper. I considered using a Royal Talent sketchbook in A6 for my travel sketching, but thought that it had too many pages and it would feel too overwhelming when I only got to fill a couple of pages per trip. I also packed a water brush to wet my water soluble pencils like the Derwent, Graffit Tints and Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. I packed all my pencils and brushes, as well as crayons, into this pink case. My brush and acrylic markers were packed in a separate bag. I also packed almost all of my Derwent drawing pencils because they are very nice and creamy and come in muted colors made specifically for landscape drawings. Then we have some brushes I use with gouache, a couple of microns and my favorite black wing pencil. And my vacation goodie or part of the vacation art haul was definitely this Carandash gouache studio set. I bought this to use while traveling because it seemed to me that it would be less messy than my other gouache palettes that hold fresh gouache. My main gouache palette, which is actually a travel watercolor palette, tends to be a little messy because usually I try to keep my gouache relatively moist. It's pretty hard to use gouache when it's completely dried up. So I thought that gouache with a different formulation of the paint would hopefully re-wet easier and would not need constant spraying to stay fresh. As you can see from this palette, I used it a lot, even after returning home for some on the couch watching Netflix sketching. I tested the colors in my new sketchbook, did some color mixing and filled a couple of pages with it. If you want to see more on this palette, let me know in the comments below and I will do a short review. In terms of the art supplies I missed on location, I didn't have any suitable tones to paint the beach, so I only sketched it with a pencil and filled in the sketch with paint later on. I started coloring the sea with brush pens, but noticed that Ohuhu brush markers don't move after they dry, so I wasn't really able to get it smooth afterwards with a brush. I also forgot a few things like a warm grey Tombow brush pen that was supposed to be my beach color. It would be really useful for rocks as well. I also forgot my white Posca pen and white Derwent drawing pencil. I did miss these three things and I felt limited while sketching at the beach because I had a couple of bright greens that were completely useless. I totally forgot that Creed is so dry. So this was my setup. I took these two cases with me and used the paint at the proper table at the hotel when everyone else was swimming in a pool. While I was sitting on the beach or at the pool myself, I used my blackwing pencil, the brush pens, water soluble pencils and a water brush. I didn't do a lot of painting, but I'm happy with what I was able to do there. Traveling with family or generally with people that are not interested in art making makes it a little more challenging to take time to make art as other people want to do other things and stay really active. I'm glad I had all these things with me. I will remember this place and these moments much better and clearer because sketching on location made me really stop and observe the surroundings and enjoy the slow moments without the usual rush. I hope you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments if you have any questions on the supplies mentioned or on location sketching, I would be happy to talk about it more in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon for another video.